this is a Mississippi Soybean Promotion Board project evaluating different row spacings, planting dates, and herbicide controls to manage Palmer amaranth. Palmer amaranth is a weed species that is very competitive with soybeans in Mississippi. It's also resistant to glyphosate or Roundup and many of the ALS inhibiting herbicides like Classic and Staple, etc. So with this project, what we wanted to do is to try to capture if we could plant ahead of pigweed emergence or possibly get to a quick enough canopy with the soybean to where we limit pigweed emergence in the trial. So what we've got is three planting dates of April 1, April 15th, and May 1st. And then we've also got a complex of row spacings within that of seven and a half, 15 and 30 inch drill spacings to try to account for again that quicker canopy closure. A third factor within that is a herbicide treatment where we had no herbicide treatment at planting and then a residual herbicide at planting. So far through this project uh, we've seen a lot, a, a big difference in the herbicide and the non-treated uh, plots as far as control of palm amaranth. As Dr. Eubank said earlier there's a residual herbicide on some plots and not on others. There is, has been some palmer breaking through that residual herbicide, however. Some of the, the narrow row spacing is showing a little bit more control of the palmer as opposed to the 15 and the 30, but yet it's, it's still looking as if that may, that you will have to probably have that residual herbicide control for uh, the control of palmer amaranth. Since probably the last week of April, we've been taking weekly pigweed counts. We take three meter squares per plot just every week we come out and count pigweeds and remove them and uh, we're going to continue doing that until we either deplete the soil bed population or we see no emergence. Also we've been taking with that a little bit later uh, light bar readings to capture the difference in the light interception from above the canopy and below the canopy to see what kind of factor that may play the emergence and competitiveness of uh, Palmer amaranth. I would like to uh, thank the Mississippi Soybean Promotion Board for funding this project and allowing me to continue my graduate studies with this. It's, uh, it's been a great opportunity for me agronomically to get my hands in the field and do, a, do work with beans and palmer amaranth. What we have seen from these studies is the, the earliest planting dates that we had established were able to outcompete some of the palmer amaranth early in the season. However, as planting date was delayed later into the season, more palmer amaranth emerged in the non-treated plots and competition is, is very severe. So the ultimate goal of this project is to see if we can incorporate some kind of agronomic practice into our herbicide weed control program to help manage palmer amaranth. We've got to develop other techniques to help manage this weed such as cover crops, planting dates, row spacing to try to help manage uh, this, this problematic weed.